are not athletes would say, well, they became a uh, champion because of steroids. No, 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 no. They're genetically gifted. As incredible as it may seem, Lee Haney was the first man to break Arnold Schwarzenegger's record of Mr. Olympia wins. And although it's claimed that all top bodybuilders use steroids to get ahead in the game, Lee Haney is one of the rare bodybuilders that are thought to be au naturel. So let's dive deep and learn what the legend himself has to say on the subject of the ever infamous steroid use, and whether the claims of him never having used steroids is true. Breaking Records Breaking Arnold's record was a true achievement, since Arnold won the Olympia six consecutive times and won another title five years after retiring in the highly disputed 1980 contest. Meanwhile, Lee Haney won it for eight years in a row, from 1984 to 91. Interestingly, in October 2005, Ronnie Coleman tied Haney's Mr. Olympia record, becoming only the second person in history to win eight consecutive Mr. Olympia titles. So who really is this dude who even cranked up Schwarzenegger? Let's find out. Early History Lee Haney was born in Fairburn, Georgia on November 11, 1959. He grew up a devout Christian and a Methodist, which shaped his character and career. Lee attended Spartanburg Methodist College. He made his professional bodybuilding debut at the World Pro Championship in Atlanta City in 1983. From 1984 to 91, Lee Haney dominated professional bodybuilding, winning every Mr. Olympia title. During his competitive years, his height was 5 foot 10 inches, and his weight went from 230 to 265 pounds during his career. Other bodybuilders like Frank Zane, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Franco Columbu had similar physiques. Also, this was well before the bodybuilding giants like Ronnie Coleman, Big Ramey, Phil Heath, and Jay Cutler stepped onto the big stage. These guys were big everywhere, including their calves. Lee Haney's Career By 1984, he had established himself as one of the top professional bodybuilders in America. Haney was huge and ripped at 5'10 and a contest weight of 230 pounds. However, his enormous upper body with massive arms and thighs, while his calves remained somewhat an afterthought. Nevertheless, Lee would become the face of bodybuilding over the next few years. After winning Mr. Olympia in 1991, Lee Haney retired from professional bodybuilding. Dorian Yates is the first of the monster bodybuilders. He would win the title of Mr. Olympia in 1992. Many believe that Lee Haney's retirement passed the torch from old school to new school bodybuilders. Lee appeared in several movies, including Pumping Iron 2, The Women, Just for Kicks, and Weekend Warriors. In 1989, Haney opened a Gold's Gym in Chicago, which served as the setting for the film Pumping Iron 2, The Women. In addition, he is the author of three books, Lee Haney's Bodybuilding for Men, 1987, Stretching Your Boundaries, 1989, and Eight Minutes in the Morning, 2004. Lee Haney's Bodybuilding Mentality Haney's approach to bodybuilding was the opposite of Arnold's in that he never thought of it as a stepping stone to fame. He had nothing to prove and nothing to overcome. Therefore, Lee simply enjoyed working out, the changes it made in his body, and just kept improving. As a result, it soon became evident that he had extraordinary potential. Lee Haney's vision of training was old school, lots of volume and heavy weights. In fact, he employed the pre-exhaust system of training, where he'd pump a muscle first in the workout and then hit it hard with compound movements with heavier weight. For example, when training legs, he would start with five sets of leg extensions and five sets of leg curls, doing up to 15 reps a set. Afterward, he would do squats in the 6 to 8 rep range using just 225 pounds, far less weight than he could normally handle, but the previous pump sets made these 225 pounds feel like 350 pounds. This way, Lee could stress the muscles without using maximum pounds, which was definitely good for his joints. The Big Question There has been much speculation over the years as to whether or not Haney used steroids during his career. Some believe that his large size and shredded physique are proof of steroid use while others claim that he was natural. Haney has never openly admitted to using steroids, but there is certainly evidence to suggest that he may have been using them at some point during his career. But first, let's look into reasons as to why he's thought to be all natural. The answer to this is simple. He passed all of his drug tests throughout his career. He's never been vocal about using steroids and has always maintained that he was natural. Many of his close friends and family members have also stated that he was never involved in steroid use which makes it understandable why Lee Haney is one of the most inspirational bodybuilders to the youth. He allegedly refused to do steroids, although it was all over the sport in the 1980s. However, he wasn't against supplement training because Lee Haney supposedly created his own fuel during the pre-contest. The famous bodybuilder used creatine and glutamine more than any other bodybuilder. But we must remember, creatine and glutamine are not considered steroids, 
and many amateur weightlifters and bodybuilders use these supplements to this day. Gladiators are naturally born. You're not, you can't make a gladiator. Steroids can't make a gladiator. The speculated steroid cycle. Haney never spoke about drug use, presumably due to the fact that he is a devout Christian and wants to always present himself in a positive and wholesome light. However, back in the late 80s and early 90s, the steroid scene was changing dramatically. Since steroids were no longer legal, there was a black market surge, hence none of the steroid users ever really knew what they were getting. Unfortunately, there was no internet, foreign pharmacies or generic companies. Consequently, it was mostly whatever some guy at the gym had or what was available through some dicey classified ad. Thus, it was not surprising that at least half of all purchases were fakes. Furthermore, many bodybuilders developed abscesses from non-sterile gear. What's really shocking is that HGH was extracted from human cadavers, leading to some bodybuilders to contract diseases that were present in the corpse. Even the supplement companies were trying to sell all sorts of bogus concoctions which they claimed to work like steroids. It wasn't pretty, and it was very much a free-for-all in regard to whatever roids anyone can get. In fact, it was also a time when dosages started to soar. Thus, it's reasonable to assume that Haney must have used some steroids to keep up with what the competition was using. You still have to understand protein, carbohydrates. You still have to understand training principles. In spite of the fact that there were a lot of designer drugs coming along, the Decadurabolin and D-Bowl combo was still the go-to stack of most bodybuilders, though one should note that Henry never showed signs of gynecomastia the way so many pros did at the time prior to the use of anti-estrogens. And so, all of this is mere speculation, and fans still claim strongly that he was never a steroid user. All of the science, a steroid can actually only give you maybe 10%. The Conclusion Lee Haney is one of the greatest bodybuilders you should never forget. With a resume that spans almost two decades and over 100 professional titles, it's hard to argue against his iconic status in the fitness world. Yet, he remains an uncelebrated figure in popular culture because of his reluctance for self-promotion and low-key attitude toward marketing himself as a celebrity athlete. Lee Haney grew up a devout Christian and a Methodist. His belief in God shaped his career and character. But Lee is one of the few bodybuilders that did it right. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, he was very active after bodybuilding, but he did most of his work quietly and behind the scenes. What can we learn from Lee Haney? Lee teaches us that actions speak louder than words. We don't have to talk about it, just do it. Also, Lee Haney reminds us we don't have to take shortcuts or compromise our values to reach our goals. Bodybuilding is about eating the right amounts of protein and healthy carbohydrates and fats while working out using scientific principles. You don't need someone to tell you how to eat or work out. We got that part down. Instead, most of us need encouragement and motivation to do what we already know. We cannot say for certain whether or not Lee Haney used steroids during his career, so the bigger truth remains a mystery for times to come. However, it is certainly possible that Haney was indeed natural. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you another time.